Slayers are extremely important in Hypixel Skyblock because they unlock useful crafts and valuable perks that are necessary for advancing in the game. They can also make you tons of money from RNG drops and leveling pets. That is why today's video will be the first part of a four-part miniseries which will guide you through all four of the Slayer types in the early, mid, and late game. So, if you want to learn the fastest and most effective ways to do revs in the early, mid, and late stages of the game, I recommend you stick around until the end. Before we get too far into it, I want to quickly mention that I will be doing a giveaway for a Hyperion in my Discord server, and yes, that is not a joke, an entirely maxed Hyperion. All you have to do is click the link in the description. Before we go over anything else, I want to go over the very basics. Revenant Horrors are the first of the four Slayers, and they're arguably the easiest and the simplest. They come in five different flavors, going from tier 1 up to tier 5, and range in health from 500 to 10 million. The reason I say they're the simplest is because their abilities are just that, which is very simple. Tier 1 through tier 4 revs almost just act like regular zombies, so they're super simple to fight. The biggest thing to note about the lower tiers is that tiers 2, 3, and 4 will all shred your armor, meaning that you'll take more damage than you would expect. Also, tiers 3 and 4 can both enrage, meaning that they become much more dangerous, but in general, this rarely happens if you're dealing enough damage to them. While there are tons of different drops that you can get from the Revenant Horrors, the most noteworthy are the Foul Flesh, the Scythe Blade, the Shard of the Shredded, and the Warden Heart. Foul Flesh is a pretty common drop that you get from all tiers except for Tier 1, and the reason that it's important is that it NPCs for 25,000 coins. The Scythe Blade is the first important RNG drop, and it's used to craft both the Reaper Scythe and the Reaper Orb. These are both relatively useful items, but most of the time these will only go for around 3 to 4 mil. The last two are the Shard of the Shredded and the Warden Heart. Four Shards of the Shredded are used to upgrade the Reaper Falchion to an Axe of the Shredded, and the Warden Heart is of course used to craft the Warden Helmet. That just about covers the basics of revs, and we'll get back to tier 5s later, but for now, I want to talk about gear. The nice part about gear for revs is that it's incredibly simple. You never really have to worry about getting a special set just for revs, because there isn't one up until you can afford Reaper Armor. In my opinion, you can do basically all tiers in nothing more than a Shadow assassin armor, so you don't need to go out and buy Necron or something like that. Swords are a little bit more confusing, but up until you get a Revenant Falchion, basically any sword will do, and past that, all you need to do is stick with the normal gear progression. In my opinion, the Revenant Falchion is one of the most underrated early game swords. If we go ahead and compare a Livid Dagger front stab to a clean Revenant Falchion, they deal nearly identical damage, and one of them costs 500k, while the other one costs 7 mil. While I am in no way saying saying that the Revenant Falchion is even close to being as good as the Livid Dagger, it's surprisingly close based on the fact that this one only costs 490,000 coins. The next upgrade from the Revenant Falchion is of course the Reaper Falchion, which in my opinion is one of the most cost-effective weapons in the game. Not only does the Reaper Falchion deal tons of damage for only costing 4 million coins, but also it decreases the amount of damage you take from zombies by 20%. The Reaper Falchion requires Rev 6 to use Use, and a decent one-for-all one will only cost you about 20 million coins, and this weapon is really good for how cheap it is. For pets, it's pretty similar to the rest of your gear, and you should really just use what you have. Most people just use revs to level combat pets, and that's what I recommend you do as well, but if you want tons of combat XP, you can also use a wolf pet, if you want lots of magic find drops, you can use a black cat, and if for some reason you can't survive, you can use a damage pet. If you're going for peak efficiency, you should use a wolf while you're spawning the boss, and a black cat while you're killing the boss, but most of the time, like I said, it's normally just better to level a pet with it. In terms of actually spawning the bosses, you sort of have three options in my opinion. The first is the Frozen Scythe. Frozen Scythe is what I use, and it's just really easy and convenient. You shouldn't really ever run out of mana if you're being smart, and most of the time if you do, it'll regen pretty quickly. The second option is the explosive bow. I've seen plenty of people use this, it's a classic, and I just don't like it because it feels a little bit slower. 
The last one is the Terminator, which I don't have because I'm poor, and that is of course also very very efficient, and I've heard that plenty of people use it. I don't use it myself, once again, because I'm poor. Before we go into talking about tier 5s, I want to quickly mention one thing, which is that no matter what tier you're doing, I always recommend that you aim for between 80 and 85 attack speed. This is sort of the sweet spot for attack speed because above that I've heard doesn't actually do much, and below that you're losing efficiency. One more thing is that if you enjoy these types of videos and you want to support me, a very small percent of my viewers are actually subscribed, so subscribing would mean the world. Now that we're all done with that, the moment you've probably been waiting for, which is Tier 5s. Tier 5 revs are an entirely different style of fight to the first four tiers, and instead of fighting it like a regular zombie, he throws TNT at you, which you have to dodge. Getting hit in the center of one of these can deal a ton of damage and can nearly one-shot you if you don't have good gear. In general, most of the things that I said about pets, swords, and talismans are pretty much the same. All you have to do for your sword is step up the chain one more to the Axe of the Shredded, and make sure that you're using a one-for-all Axe of the Shredded. The biggest difference between the lower and higher tier revs is in your armor. And of course, I right now am using Reaper armor, which in my opinion is the best set that you can use for it. This set of 3 fourths Reaper with a Warden helmet actually has Blast Prot 7 on it instead of Prot 6. In my opinion, Blast Prot 7 is actually significantly better, because almost all the damage that you'll be taking from them is in the form of TNT damage. Also of course, the Warden helmet is pretty much the best damage helmet in the game, and it gives some pretty decent tank stats as well. So I'm using this plus the 3 fourths Reaper armor, and if you have this sort of setup, you're pretty much set. A full set of 3 fourths Reaper armor will cost you around 29 mil, and you don't have to use the Warden Helm with it. In terms of actually fighting tier 5s, although it's more confusing than fighting tier 4s and below, it's still pretty simple if you have good gear. If you have worse gear, you need to be more cautious, but all you need to do is avoid the TNT blasts and hit it when you can. If you have something like an Axe of the Shredded, then you can also right click and use the ability because that will also be doing damage at the same time. I also forgot to mention that this set does have a full set bonus, which can be activated by crouching. Using it gives you a ton more damage, and I recommend that you just use it whenever you spawn a boss because it'll make you kill it quicker. The last thing I want to talk about before we go is extremely important if you actually want to be efficient when you're doing revs, and that is trading bosses. Trading bosses with somebody is pretty simple, so I don't feel like I need to take a ton of time to explain it, but the essence of it is they spawn their boss, and then you kill their boss, which gives you a ton of combat XP, speeding up your boss spawning by a ton. If you do this back and forth, and you kill each other's bosses, it makes slayers in general a lot faster. With that said, that just about wraps it up for this video. If you enjoy this short guide type of content, I recommend that you comment it down below, because your support really does mean a lot. Also, if you want the chance to win an entirely maxed Hyperion, I recommend you join my Discord server because in a few weeks we'll be giving one away entirely for free. My name is DK and I very much hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys later, and adios.